Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, everyone. My name is Bob, and I am a bee. Do you mind if I grab you on film and ask you a couple of questions about bees? The bee was once a proud member of the ecosystem. We were respected. But every year, our numbers fall. And instead of helping us out, the humans have made us a sort of internet meme. A joke, if you will. Well, am I laughing? I'm not. So today, I've made this documentary where I will go out into the human world and show you just what importance humans place in bees and maybe spread a little knowledge along the way but be warned the results may shock and horrify you Ladies and gentlemen, we are right here in Belfast and today I'm going to be asking people what they know about bees and telling them what they should know Let's go! What do you know about bees? They pollinate stuff, so they stick people and they die. Pollination. These are very important. How long do you think the human race would last without bees? Well, I know according to the bee movie, not very long. Right. This is another person whose mind has been corroded by the bee movie. <laughs> Barry B. Benson is a good man, but that film was propaganda. 25 years. I'm on a death game. I don't know. Four years. Four years. Got everyone. That's what I'm out here for, to try and uh, get out to people how important bees are to the ecosystem. Get the buzz going. <laughs> get the buzz going. So, we're off to a great start. We already have some great people who understand that bees are not just memes. Let's go and find out what other people think. This is a local gathering spot of the humans. This is where they will discuss things like culture and world trends that are going on. They represent the people and they represent super people, but do they represent bees and the super bees? Let's find out. Let's have a look at these titles. Let's see here, we have, we have bats, we have super people, we have like dolphin people, we have clowns, but no bees. Coincidence? I think not. Let's go. A local feeding place of the humans. This is where humans will stop off to get refreshments and recharge and enjoy a tasty beverage. They serve things like ice cream and milkshake, but do they serve the bees? Do they serve us us nectar? Let's find out. Hello. Hi, I was just wondering, uh, do you serve any nectar here? No, sorry. Okay. Sorry. Another prejudice against bees. They don't want us here. They don't want to keep us going. I'm starting to lose a bit of faith in the people here. You know, I'm having mixed feelings about the people. The people seem to support the bees, but the businesses, they don't. Buzz off! Buzz off! <laughs> this sort of treatment, this sort of treatment of us bees, I'm getting abused here. Is this a joke? Yeah, that's like a joke! Another artist, he probably hates bees as well. The humans, they're gathering around entertainment. I can't see what it is, but I bet it's something to do with torturing bees or watching our stingers getting ripped out in half where our intestines falling out. They're watching their entertainment when they could be spreading the word about bees. Can I grab your attention for a minute or, nope, okay. I don't think I was wrong about the people. I really think they don't care about the bees. Hi, can I grab your attention and ask you a couple of questions? No, buzz off. <laughs> is that how we get that a lot, has it? Yeah. <laughs> Was it just a joke? Oh, it's just a joke. Okay. Oh yeah, hold me on. Okay. I'm making a short documentary okay. about bees. Now, you're doing uh, the city sightseeing of Belfast. Yes. Uh, how much influence has bees had on Belfast? Well, I just what I've just noticed over the years is there's less and less bees in Belfast. I don't know what, what that is. The bee population is dropping every single year. See last winter, 14% of bees died. That's one seventh of the population. If that was in human terms, that would be a billion people wiped off the face of the planet. It's pretty scary, isn't it? Oh, it is frightening. Um, so, uh, so I don't know what, what you would put that down to. Have, have I got to the bottom for it? Of it? Uh, some people say that it's uh, the way humans treat the environment. Right. Um, 
you know, some people say it's just natural influxes of bees and stuff like that, how they'll rise up eventually. Um, but I definitely think that there's a, it's to do with deforestation and stuff like that, and uh, the way that more si uh, and the way that cities are accommodating the bees. Okay, Red. Thank you very much. Okay. You are a gentleman, sir. I'm sorry we got off on the wrong foot. I, it's been a rough day. Some people haven't been too, too nice to the bees, and I've just been a little bit sensitive. But you know, thank you for you know putting light hearted and giving me a bit of hope. Thank you very much. Be positive. What? I keep what coming. There's more. <laughs> As you can see, some people still believe in bees, but many don't understand of our importance. So next time you see someone take Barry B. Benson's name in vain, don't stand for it. The next time that you see someone make a joke about how bees are on the endangered species list, say that's not funny. The next time you see someone post a bee meme, you say, no. Bees are not memes. 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 I've been Bob the Bee. Thank you for listening. Bees are not